Hello, I'm Pavel Minaev and today I will be showing you mixed mode Python native debugging in Python Tools for Visual Studio. For the purposes of this demo, we'll start with a simple pre-made solution that consists of a Python extension module written in C++ and a Python script that calls various functions and methods in that module. First of all, we will need to enable native code debugging for this project. To do so, I open the Python project properties dialog, navigate to the debug tab, and enable the native code debugging option. Now let's try to start debugging the project by navigating to debug, start debugging. When mixed mode debugging is enabled for the first time, you will see this dialog saying that you'll need debug symbols for your Python interpreter. Most likely you do not have those downloaded yet, so click on the download symbols button to open a documentation page which provides direct links to symbols for various supported Python interpreters. The project that we're debugging is using Python 3.3, and I have CPython 3.3.2 32-bit installed on this machine. So let's get the symbols for that. The downloaded symbol files are inside a single zip archive that must be unpacked to some local folder. In this case, it will be C Python 33 symbols. Now we can register the symbols with Visual Studio by going to Tools, Options, Debugging, Symbols, and adding the path to the list. If we stop debugging now and start it again, the dialog does not appear anymore and breakpoint in Python code shows as a solid circle. This indicates that debugging of Python code is working correctly in mixed mode. The Python script is waiting for user input now. Once I press enter, it'll run until it hits our breakpoint. So far, the debugging experience is largely similar to pure Python debugging. You can see variables in the local window, and you can see the call stack window showing stack frames. All the usual uh, stepping commands and shortcuts are working. For example, F11 to step into a function, and F10 to step over the statements. The line of code I have stopped at calls a function in a native extension module, and here is where the experience starts getting different. Let's try to step into the function call and see where we end up. As you can see, we are now stopped in C++ code, on the first line of the native function that has just been called. All debugger windows now show the C++ view of the world. For example, you can see the arguments of the function in the locals window and their C structs. The native frame is also on top of the call stack, but notice how Python frames are still shown and the call from the last Python frame into native code is marked as a transition. Double clicking on one of the Python frames we we'll once again show the source code for that frame, with a marker indicating the current line of code in it. Variables can be inspected in the local window of any of the frames. Let's return back to the native frame that is currently executing. As you can see, this line of code calls PyObject object, passing it the argument that it received from the caller. Since the argument passed from Python code was just another Python function, the Python function is going to be invoked right now. And indeed, if I now step in to the call, I end up on the first line of that Python function. Once again, we see that the call stack window shows both Python and native frames that have invoked each other so far in correct order, and indicates transitions between the two kinds of code. Let's step some more until we get to this line of code here. The line above it has created an object of a class that is defined in a native extension module, and this line is about to call a method on that object. The method is implemented as a C++ function, so stepping in will once again get us to the C++ source for it, and show the function arguments in the locals window. There were four arguments in the function call, 
which Python has packed into a tuple and passed it as the arc parameter. As you can see, it is declared simply as a pi object pointer here, and expanding it shows the solid machinery. However, if we want to know what kind of Python object it actually is, the Python view node will help. It shows the value of the object uh, as seen from Python code, and it can be expanded to show the fields and elements of the object, same as if it were a local variable in Python code. I can even edit the values of the elements directly. Let's go back to Python code that called this native function. Here we have a local variable that references a native object, and that variable can be expanded in the locals window uh, to see the fields of that object as Python sees them. But what if you wanted to see how it looks from C++? Well, we can see that after enabling C++ view nodes by right-clicking anywhere in the locals window, opening the Python submenu, and checking the corresponding option. Now, when I expand the same variable in locals again, it has the C++ view node on it. Just like the Python view node showed how Python code sees a C++ struct, the C++ view node shows how native code sees a struct that backs the Python object that we're looking at. Naturally, you can expand it uh, to look at the native representation of the fields. Now, one of those fields is itself a pi object pointer that points back to the same object. So, expanding it will uh, still give you a C++ view of it, but note how now it also provides a Python view node, thus completing the circle. You can expand the node, giving you uh, the Python representation of that object back. I'll stop debugging the project now so I can show another way in which mixed mode debugging can be initiated. If we already have a process running on a system which includes Python code, you can attach that process to debug both code types. In this demo, I will attach to the same Python script, which I have already launched manually from command prompt. To do so, I go to debug, attach to process, and in the dialog that opens, I click on select, and I check native alongside Python. Now I can find my process in the list. Since it's just a regular C Python interpreter, it will be python.exe. Select it and click attach. As you can see, the breakpoint lights up again. I press enter to let the script run to it, and you can see that mix mode debugging is active by a mixture of frames in a call stack window. In this video, I've shown you how to set up your environment for mixed mode Python native debugging, how to download symbols for your interpreter, and how to step and inspect variables and the call stack. If you have any questions or comments, please drop us a line on pytools.codeplex.com. Thank you.